Well, despite a dwindling economy, insecurity and other challenges plaguing the nation, Nigerians remain resilient and high-spirited. Well, this is the focus of the book titled Nigerians, a Self-Organizing People, written by Andrew Nevin and co-authored by Arise News anchor Rufai Osini and a few others. The book was formally presented to the public today in Abuja, and the book explores the question, why is Nigeria not yet a failed state? And highlights the resilience of the Nigerian people despite the disorder in the nation's public sector and the volatile nature of the economy. The authors are of the opinion that the self organizing impulse of Nigerians is what has been preventing Nigeria from becoming a failed state. It paints a picture of how resilient Nigerians are while calling on the government to do more in nation building. So I've lived in Nigeria more than a decade, um, and I kept having this experience where there was very negative uh, stories put out about Nigeria, very negative data, and it didn't fit with what I was seeing on the ground in my, my work and my life in Nigeria. I was working or seeing incredible things, incredibly positive things, people taking responsibility to solve complex problems, whether they're in health or in education or in infrastructure or in power. And it was this conflict that really led me to think about writing this book. I became part of this project because I saw a lot of possibilities in Nigeria. I wanted us to celebrate the good things that Nigerians are doing, but not to abdicate the role of the government. And leading up to 2023, why people should get the book is because we need these conversations. We need to be able to ask, why is it that the government is not doing as much as other Nigerians are doing in the sector of education, in the sector of manufacturing, in the healthcare sector? And how can we pull the government into the conversation? Because there's so much potential. Year on year, government spending keeps decreasing because there's lack of accountability in the system. People are filling up the space. But it is not just for only for people to fill up the space. It is for government to see how can we collaborate with the people. What we need today is actually positive stories that people can uh, get inspired by and really our youth need to learn to say that you know actually it's in our hands to do something about it and that is why you should actually look at the examples that we have given you can start from nothing but you know our instinct in this country is to actually organize ourselves so well and there are so many good stories around so we want to put the positive stories out so that you know people can you know just take that energy and just do best for themselves 